Let's face it, I'm a guy. I wouldn't think to add color and personality to a floor. Lucky for me, Amy Howard from Amy Howard at Home is here today with a project that's going to show me how to do just that. On this particular piece, I wanted to kind of show you the after first to see okay. what it is that we're going to be creating. So imagine this going in front of the sink, maybe in your kitchen. And we could go to a big box store or something and buy a floor cloth, but we actually get to customize this one. And it's so easy. What are some of the tools and supplies we need for this project? What's so great about Ace is the fact that they can mix any custom color you want in quartz. But I just chose two of these pots of the Holy Moly and Ballet White. You'll also need a hog's hair brush, a stencil, clear wax, a lint-free rag, and a floor canvas that you can pick up from any craft supply store. So what we need to do is remember um, with with using the one-step paint, we've got to thin it about 15 to 20 percent if we're going to be using it on fabric. So after I've thinned that down, I'm going to put on the Holy Moly first. We're going to take our round hog hair brush. So I'm going to dip it in here. Make sure you always offload it. And I would start on the edge and work your way over into the center. Okay. Dip it in there. Okay. Make sure you offload it on the sides. You're doing a great job. So see, though, look at what you've done thus far. You don't see any lines. You yeah. don't really see any brush strokes. So that's part of the reason for coming and pouncing it on. I finished painting the entire cloth in Amy's Holy Moly Yellow. We let it dry for about 20 minutes before moving on to the next step. Amy, we have our base yellow coat on. Now we have the stencils on top. Is it the same process? Yes. So what we've got to do is we're going to thin down our second color of ballet white and we're going to stipple it on. And this stencil's not taped on anything. We're just laying it down here and working with it. That's how it works. Yes. Well, it's a heavy mylar material as okay. most stencils are. So that allows you to be able to have the weight of this that's going to lay down on top of it. And as you're working, you just want to make sure that maybe you're pressing it and holding it with your hand. Okay. So as you're going to be laying the brush down and stippling it, that it doesn't bleed too much. On this particular stencil, you're going to notice something. It's too short. Yes. So we're going to make sure that we're going to finish this out, but then we're going to move it over to just continue to repeat it. Offload it. That's good. Then you're going to stipple it on the cardboard. That allows it to be able to get into all the bristles evenly. You're doing awesome. See how easy it is? Yes, actually it is very easy. So now you're going to want to make sure that you go over the whole thing. Okay. You can't lift it up to check it. Wow, who knew I had a skill for stippling? I continue painting the stencil until the cloth is fully covered. We have to let the stencil coat dry for about 30 minutes before we can seal it with wax. So we need to make sure we seal it because this is going to go on the floor. Yes, absolutely. So the easiest way to be able to do it is to use our clear wax. Okay. It has carnauba in it. So it's going to dry to a real nice hard finish and you're going to be able to just wipe it clean with soap and water. So what you want to do is we're going to take our clear wax yep. and you're going to take the hog hair brush, make sure you Put it down with pressure in there, to, that way you load up the brush really well and it's evenly distributed. And then remember we always offload onto cardboard. And then you're going to come back in a cross hatching motion. Remember we're not acting like we're brushing it on, like we're painting. We're going to do it in a cross hatching motion and cover the whole thing very generously. Now is this wax a one time thing? I would really recommend using this maybe every three, four months. Okay. Because it's on the floor. All right. You want to try it? And you can always feel of it, and it'll feel greasy when you first put it on. You're going to want to make sure it comes to tack. You're looking at about 30 minutes to let the wax dry. Amy, our cloth is all waxed up. I can feel it's come to tack. You have one more step for me, though. Yes. I want you to buff it. I want to be able to have a really pretty sheen to it, not only for protection, but also in the look. Okay. And what are some of the tricks for buffing this thing? I do want to make sure that you're using a lint-free rag. Okay. And then I want you to be able to come back and just kind of buff it like you would a shoe. You know what, Amy? I think this floor cloth looks great. You look at the cost. We spent $15 on the canvas. And we've spent under $50 for our paint and our wax, and we get to enjoy the bragging rights. Thank you so much for teaching me how to do this project. And you know what? Holy moly, it looks great. You did a great job. Shh.